Sean Jones puts it up and scores! Hello, Hialeah, Florida! He's one of the most unheralded players in college basketball. And I, I don't know how, I've been in it like 31 years, I don't lose that, use that real loosely. He just says, he affects the game. talked to him Justin about especially in the spring about you know the days that you don't want to be great I'm gonna coach you like you do want to be great <laughs> and I said I'm gonna there's gonna be a lot of expectations and uh, w one thing that that he's done so well like a lot of our other good players is that he doesn't blink about being coached I mean he doesn't take it personal he takes it as a guy trying to get him better uh, Sean has just been an everyday guy low maintenance, you know, good guy. He, you know, he didn't play, I think, early in his career hard for longer periods of time. And this year he did that, and we all saw kind of what happens when his motor runs like that for long periods of time. He goes down the lane, left-handed backwards layup, no good. Sean Jones slams it home! Hello, Hialeah, Florida! Even as a young age, you saw glimpses. He would have these great games, and then he may go a couple weeks before he'd have another really good game and I think that was just him growing up uh, we went to Ole Miss this year we lost but he just dominated the game I mean just from a rebounding standpoint and just how physical he was and he and Nico both played unbelievable uh, that night but I think that was when you really could see you know this guy right here can just absolutely go take a team on its back because when he rebounds the ball like that changes the whole game he just found just different ways just to push me as a player. Some of them was good, some of them was bad, you know, but most of them just went like, uh, just being, just try to be more consistent as a player, you know, don't just go out there and get 20 something else and come and get four and just be more consistent because that would help me grow as a, as a, as a leader on the court and a better player. This was really the first year he really got, you know, 28, 29 minutes a game. And I told him, I said, for our team to be good, you need to be player of the year in this league. I said, it's going to, you have to be right in that discussion. And it's something that he took to heart. Uh, he became, I think, a lot better leader. Uh, you know, and so I was really proud of what, what he did this year. I almost teared up in front of him, but I was just happy when he just gave everybody around me a hug. We just had our first shoot around over there at UTEP for the conference tournament. And usually when I'm like from traveling from the hotel room to the bus and from the bus back to the hotel, I just had my headphones in. So uh, I was walking back into the hotel, and I just seemed like wait, like he tried to wave me down and told me to come in. So at the time, I thought I was in trouble because I was like, I'm, so I'm thinking, I'm racing through my mind. I'm like, dang, what did I, what did I do from on the bus to here? And I was like, so I just walked up to him, and I had like one info in, and he was telling me, he was like, congratulations, you won Player of the Year. And I didn't hear him, and I was like, huh? And he was like, you, they selected you to be Player of the Year. And I was like, you know, I just. Just started smiling and hugged all my coaches and sent out a mass text message to my teammates and thanked them for, you know, pushing me through all the days that I didn't want to practice and doing the days that Coach David was on me hard. He took it as a big achievement, and uh, you could tell. I mean, you know, Sean's not a guy that shows a lot of emotion, but it was, it was a big moment for him, and uh, it was a big moment for our program. You know, we've had two of the last three. You know, LaRon was player of the year. Uh, three years ago, it meant a lot to him. I think that was a subtle goal of his. You're talking about a guy that kind of came out of nowhere, you know, that wasn't even all league in the Sun Belt the year before and became player of the year in Conference USA. And I mean, it's just because of all of his hard work. It's never an iron team, you know, because I, I couldn't do it by myself. You know, I, I, no matter how many rebounds, how many points, or how many blocks I get, you know, I couldn't win a game by myself. So that's why I just decided just to send a mass testament to every, all my, even the freshmen that didn't play, to the freshmen that did, and the people that didn't play on the team. I just sent it to everybody because, you know, in practice they really helped me just, you know, having, having the guard better, having different ways to, to work on my offense, work on my defense, rebounding and everything. So it was just a whole team effort for me to get that award. That's his personality. Uh, that's why I think that he's got a great chance to play for a long, long time whether it's in the NBA or whatever, because he's such a good team guy, teammate, that uh, he'll travel well with coaches and then the guys he's playing with. The thing I think separates from Sean, he can, he can pick and pop, ball screen, and make 18, 19-foot shots. 
and a relentless offensive rebounder. And then on the other end, boy, he can just change games from a shot blocking standpoint. Not many guys, six, seven and a half, can do that at that size. But in that combine in Portsmouth, I think his length, he measured his wingspan of seven feet, three and three quarters, the longest of anybody there. So not only is he athletic, he's really, really long. We showed our highlight tape the other night in our year-end uh, uh, cookout, and you just forget all the athletic plays. I mean, just one after the other. And uh, he, he had some spectacular plays, and uh, it'll bode well. If he gets an NBA chance, he'll be on that highlight tape again for sure. The one against Akron was, uh, you know, we were just three years ago, and Akron was really, really good. NCAA tournament team, and they threw a high-low pass to – and he kind of reversed and dunked it over his shoulder in traffic. And it, was almost, and it happened so quick. And he got fouled. And it was a huge play. I mean, he's had a bunch of them. You know, a lot of alley-oops. The one off the backboard from Nico. Nico Hunter on the run. He will lay it up. Sean Jones off the backboard. But that was probably in traffic one of the best ones I've seen. I was a late bloomer. I didn't dunk till like my sophomore year of high school. When I first got to high school, it was people that were shorter than me dunking. So I was just determined. Like every day I ran stairs at my apartment. Did look, did uh, single leg hops and everything, calf raises. That's how I got to I was able to dunk. It was on my own time. Because I was just like, I'm not going to let nobody <laughs> out jump me that was shorter than me. I was just measuring my, like, how, how I was jumping on, on the top of the balcony, like where I could touch that and I'd leave, like a little mark there to see like how my progress went throughout uh, my whole summer. He had a lot of really good three or four agents that he talked to. It was sort of like the recruiting process like for college. And uh, I was really impressed with all of them. And Sean just, he made a real methodical uh, decision. Overall, I think I made a good decision. and I really trust the guy that I signed with. His mom's coming up here and his aunt to watch him graduate. I think he'll head to New York to where his agency is located and start his, his workouts and all his NBA workouts. I'm actually looking forward to that because I never had the opportunity to just focus on basketball. So I'm actually looking forward to just, you know, not having to wake up at nine and go sit in the class and write notes or go to study hall. It's just strictly basketball from now on. When I was at the PIT, uh, I actually had a sit-in interview with the Spurs. It was like, it was like basically everybody from the GM to Greg Popovich was in there and certain different uh, people on the uh, personnel. Uh, also, I spoke with, a, uh, with the Indiana Pacers scout. He was telling me things that he loved the way I play. And also I spoke to a New York Knicks scout. He was telling me that he enjoyed watching him play. I think he can run really, really fast. Like I said, I think he'll surprise people in his workouts how good he can shoot it. Uh, but even in the half court, uh, he knows how to play in the half court. He's, he became a lot better screener. So I think he'll fit both ways. Coming from, from Miami, you know, it was just me and my mom. So it was just me and her for most of the time. So I came in and made like, I would say like 20 something new brothers. So I'm. Of course, I'm gonna keep in touch with, with all of them while I leave, but that's what I'm gonna miss, you know, just seeing them on a day-to-day -day basis, just laughing and joking with them. Coming out of high school, I really didn't take it that serious until like, you know, my junior, junior senior year, because, you know, my ninth grade year, you know, I, at the time, I really didn't think I was gonna be able to make it to college, so I was just goofing around and things like that, not going to school. But when I finally saw that I had interests and people was actually trying to get me to come play on that team. That's when I just buckled down and I started to uh, focus on my studies even more. And I just basically continued that since I've been here, you know, just trying to be the best student that I can. He's so humble, you know, he takes his, his awards in such a, a humble and gracious way. Uh, he's a very well-mannered uh, young guy. And uh, like I said, he, he's just a real pleasant person. I can't tell you. I don't know if he's had two or three unexcused absences in four years. I just, he's one of the guys you don't really, off the floor, you don't even really think about him very much because he just kind of does all the right stuff. Coming here, it really helped me progress as a man and as a basketball player, you know, from being able to come in and take responsibility for my own and also be able to develop each year on the court. And luckily, my last year becoming basically the player of the year of the conference. You know, it was, it was just a long process that I was happy to, to enjoy and take. Over 500 rebounds and over 150, 175 block shots. Maybe two guys in the history of our school have done that. And, uh, and plus he's gonna graduate on time, you know, May 10th. So, and he's won three championships. So that's just, 
I mean, that, that's fulfilling your uh, a great, great college career when you can do all those three things. You know, you can become an all-league player, uh, academically you do well, and you win championships. I think that defines really good players, and I think he'll go down as one of the best players to ever play in the history of this school.